he had mentioned that I should be auditioned at the airport and sent away from the border with a box of Turkish delights. So, 2018'de Donald Trump Amerika'nın bir uzay ordusu kuracağını söyledi. So think of that. Space Force. Aralıkta uzay ordusu gerçekten kuruldu. Bu sırada ise Netflix uzay ordusunun nasıl olacağı ile ilgili bir komedi dizisi çekti. Ben de 29 Mayıs'ta çıkacak Space Force'un oyuncularıyla röportaj yaptım. Karşınızda iki kez Oscar adayı olmuş, Türkiye'den sınır dışı edilmesi istenmiş ve kendisini konu alan inanılmaz bir filmi çıkmış efsanevi oyuncu John Malkovich. Kendisi dizide askerlere bilim anlatmaya çalışan bir bilim adamını canlandırıyor. Ve yine karşınızda Netflix'te harika bir şovu olan Sony'yi seslendirmiş komedyen Ben Schwartz. Kendisi dizide Fakton isimli bir sosyal medya uzmanını oynuyor. İsminin niye öyle olduğunu ise kimse açıklamıyor. How are you? Very well. You doing well? Thanks, man. Yeah. I just did the lunar landing module. The hey, lunar that's lunar amazing. Nice. Yeah. Very that's nice. great. Thank you. Do you believe that aliens exist? And if they were real and humanity wanted to show them one of your projects, what would you choose? I cannot wait to hear if John Malkovich thinks aliens exist because I've never asked it. I, I've never asked him, and I'm sincerely interested, John. Because whatever he answers is probably correct. <laughs> no, no. I, I honestly have no idea. Once when I was having a knee surgery in Poland, I got quite addicted to Russia today. There's a hilarious program on that called Sophie and Co. It's Sophie Shevardnadze, who's, who's I think, grandfather used to be prime minister of, of uh, Georgia, I think. Anyway, she had on a former Canadian defense minister who says he gets letters from aliens. Oh. And they're really upset about the way we treat the earth that's what he maintains do i believe it not really but i wouldn't find it shocking though what would i show them of your own work know. being john malkovich is pretty alien <laughs> so maybe that malkovich malkovich malkovich malkovich malkovich malkovich malkovich I think uh, there's a chance. There's a shot. I haven't seen any aliens. There's a shot. I, it's almost like magic. I love going to like a magician or seeing a magic show. And I, I'm always looking to see what they're doing. But my favorite thing in the universe is when I cannot figure it out. Like mm -hmm. I want, I want to so badly not be able to figure out when I go to a magician. So it's like aliens are like that for me. Like I want, I don't know yet. Uh, mm -hmm. But I don't. And the thing that I would make him, I would jump into John Malkovich's library and I would just show the scene from Con Air where he was, walks away from an explosion just to show yeah. them that the human race is not afraid of anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that will save us. Sai Anara. No! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, John Malkovich will save us all is the name of my next yeah. book. Yeah, my next question is about the show being a political satire, but not picking a side. What do you think about this stand? And also, can you see people comparing Dr. Mallory to Dr. Anthony Fauci? Bilmeyenler için Anthony Fauci Amerika'daki en üst seviye sağlık uzmanı ve virüs önlemleri konusunda sürekli Trump'la tartıştığı söyleniyor ve halk onu çok seviyor. John Malkovich'in karakteri de buna biraz benziyor. I think in terms of it being a political satire, I don't think the uh, main purpose of the show itself is to try to take the figures in the space force take the figures that are in politics and truly in a one-on-one -on -one fashion try to jump into them i think they're inspired by the idea of what space force represents our goal was to make a very funny show based off the idea that a new branch of the military has just existed funny based off of an idea that when it was announced everybody's like a space force and so that's kind of like where it came from this is space force head media manager we're looking for american heroes And I think if if if there is you you mentioned a comparison between Dr. Mallory, Dr. Fauci, I think I mean it just happens to be very topically in the news the clash between quote science of which there are fifty thousand different versions, for instance, of what we're living right now. And every country's version is different. I happen to be in Istanbul the day it locked down, really. Clash may be too strong a word, but the kind of give and take between human observation, human instinct, human experience, and quote, science. 
on one hand. And I think this series kind of goes back and forth with that. Is it a conflict? I don't know if it's a conflict, but that equation or that question. We are training for the worst case scenario. It's a lot of weight and it's hot. Your final stage show before the lockdown, I think, was in Istanbul. How, how was the trip? What did it feel like? Always loved Istanbul and I've performed there before quite quite notably, may I say, which was a, quite a scandal. Um, and uh, we had dinner with the Minister of Culture the night before our show, and he told us they were going to let the show go ahead, the concert go ahead, but that they were also telling people to stay at home and don't gather in a large group. I think they were kind of too polite to cancel us. As far as I know, I haven't heard of any sort of spread from that. That was on March 13th. We had a small audience compared to what we had had in Vienna or, or Serbia or, or Hungary. But it was a great crowd. And we had the Turkish critic there who was kind of immortalized in our piece, who came on stage and gave me a huge box of Turkish delight. Uh, <laughs> in his review of, of a piece I had been involved with at the theater of, uh, at the festival of culture in Istanbul, he had mentioned that I should be auditioned at the airport and sent away from the border with a box of Turkish delights. So he brought a nice box of Turkish delights and uh, we had a great time. Small, small crowd for Istanbul, but uh, it was a uh, fun, but uh, a strange, a strange time as the world was kind of shutting down. Every town closed the morning we left. Thank you very much. Also, that was not all of our opinions, the critics. Thank you. Take care. Also, <laughs> Ben, your improv special is great. I just hey, thanks, that. man. That means so much. I, I haven't been able to talk to people in other countries yet to see if it translates. So that makes me so happy. Yeah, that it you does. Guys yeah, it. it does. Great. Congratulations on the show. Thank you. Thanks, Thank sir. You, sir. Have thanks a good one. for the module. <laughs>